Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCCB desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software. Today we are talking about a very important one, Sansec Cam for PC. So basically in this video, we are going to describe with you that what is Sansec Cam for PC, what are its basic feature, what are its system requirement and after that we will tell you the practical part means how you download the software, how you install the software and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like share our video and subscribe to our channel. So let us start. So what is Sansei Cam for PC? Basically it is a software or it is a CMS which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on PC. It is this, this is the software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on the computer screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. Now, if we are talking about its basic feature, by using this software, you are able to access Sensei Cam on the on your on your laptop screen. Not only the live view of the camera, not only the means only view the camera, but you are you can see the multiple channel time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You control the QTZ camera means you are able to pan tilt and zoom. You take the snapshot of the video. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take a backup of the recorded videos. You can adjust the video streaming according to network bandwidth and control the quality of video recording and many more. Now, if we are talking about system requirement, then you should have at least Core i5, any generations CPU. And you have Windows 7, 8 or 10. But I don't recommend on run to, to run on a Windows 7 because this is an obsolete product by Windows. So it, it don't have update. And if you are talking about RAM, then you should have at least 4 GB of RAM. And you should have at least 500 GB of hard disk installed. And you should have at least 200 GB of free space. Why this is too much? Because when you record the live videos, when you take a snapshot of the videos, it takes hard disk space. So let us start. For downloading the software, you should open your browser, any browser and search for Sansei Cam for PC. When you do this, you find the top of the list uh, a website. Just open the website. In this website, you are not only you, you are able to get the files, but you this website also tell you that how you installed and how you configure the software like this. Okay, everything is mentioned. And if you are downloading for Windows OS, just see the here you find the download Sensei Cam for Windows OS. Just click on that. It will redirect you a page where we have to wait for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, that file will be ready to download. Now you find that your file is ready in a download like this. Okay. Now just click on this. Just close this. Add. And your downloading start like this. Okay. Once it is download completely. Here you should find the option folder. Just click on this folder. Showing folder option. And you file, you find the file in a WinRAR file. You find a WinRAR file. So for that, you should extract this file. Just right click on the downloaded file and click as extract to Sensei Com for PC. When you do this, you find the folder name same as the file name. Open the folder. Here you should find your application file, exe file, or the installer file. Just right click on the application file and click on click as on Run as Administrator and click Yes. And now click OK. Now click Next. Again click Next. Just tick Create Desktop icon, create a quick launch button. OK. And click Install. Now wait for a few seconds. Let, let the solution to be finished. When it is finished, you find the launch device client. Just tick so, the, so that you don't go to the desktop and open it.
now this is the interface of the software now you should click on this setting and go to the device list this is the first thing you should do okay and here you find that add modify and delete and open search tool if your device and your laptop both are on the same network means connected to the same router same wi-fi then you should click on open search tool like this and here you find it will automatically find and if you want to add just click on this click add here you, you see that it asks for a device so you can put anything like any anything that which you easily remember like here i entered test device if you are adding a home camera just click home home camera or home dvr and here you should find the ip address and the username and the password so here you should find p2p so if you click on the p2p you should enter did okay so for that if you want to connect a remote location de device then you should click p2p and enter the serial number here and where you should get this this did you should log in your device means your dvr and go to network option over there you find a did okay and if you want to connect it locally just untick this and your and your device become like this okay so i want to connect it locally if you want to connect for a remote location then you should enter did so in my case i just enter my ip address and here it asks for a username and password so don't be confused here it is a username and password of the device device means dvr nvr whatever device you are adding so here it is my username and password and i make a video just for education training purpose so there is nothing that i nothing extra i will tell you i will tell you only those things which is important okay just click okay here you find that okay just close this and just double click on the screen your camera comes, comes live so this is all about this video thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day